What do we have today? You said it's made in Georgia? Yeah. I thought maybe it was your brother or something like that. Hey, how you doing? I got the coolest customers. No, yeah, more efficient. That iPad there. Yep. You use a uh, four flight. Yep. Seems like everybody uses that's the popular one to go with. I'm trying to probably with some, picking up some steam, but four flights just. So the far back, those are actual seats back there. Yeah, so you got two, and then one jump seat in the back. So oh, five, like a jump seat. Five, okay. Five. Down to Greenville, it'd be 30, 40 minutes to get off the ground. Oh, I know, especially at Greenville Airport. Clear. Oh, yeah. We'll feel it. I haven't gotten that far yet. I think that's coming now. 
Well, that was a blast. That was a customer of ours that we're doing uh, doing some clearing for. We actually flew over his property and then uh, went and flew over my house and a couple other places went to Greenville. Um, I just couldn't help myself. He's like, he's like, hey, you wanna go check out the airplane? And then I was actually just coming to pick up a check today because we finished up his property and we're starting the one next door. And uh, after that, he was like, oh, you wanna go check out the airplane? So went and looked at the airplane and uh, he's like, well, I got time if you wanna fly. So we went flying, so. But he's wanting to actually get his helicopter's license. And I told him I was gonna start working on getting mine. And uh, if you wanted to come check out the helicopter that I was gonna be flying, we're gonna be, I'm gonna be flying in a R22 to get my license. So uh, he'll probably be coming over to check that out too. So, but that was fun. That was a pretty fast little airplane too. That was, uh, I was used to training in like a 172 Cessna, I think it was. And uh, that there was a big difference in power for sure. Like it, it would just climb like, um, and one time we did like uh we we're climbing up we did a drop put the nose down and we put a water bottle i think you guys will see in the clip like i put a water bottle on the dashboard and the water bottle shot up off the dashboard like you know, all you see is you know a water bottle coming off the dashboard you if you only knew what it felt like though when you do that it's like you're li you're lifting out of the seat when that happens and it feels like you're gonna hit the ceiling so but day in the life on a monday so uh now I'm going to check out some equipment. Not to buy, just stuff that I'm fixing. So, anyway. On to the next one. Man, God is good. We're out here uh, where the grinder is and the excavator. Uh, this job here, we didn't uh, clear this job. It was already cleared before. And we came in to uh, just grind it up for them. Uh, funny thing is, uh, we just picked up another 20 acres to do, and it's, I didn't even know where it was. And uh, it was actually like, it's not even three blocks down the road from where we're at right now. So um, just hopping on down the road, getting them done. So uh, got a lot going on in Newberry. We're almost done with that job. The clearing is done. We, uh, we borrowed the grinder for a minute. Um, this job had a little bit of a deadline on it. We just had to kind of get it knocked out real quick. It's like a, like a one, two day job here. And then uh, we're, uh, we're gonna move the grinder back to Newberry today. Uh, they've pretty much finished all the clearing. They've just been out there like busy, like cleaning up, racking up everything, getting it in a you know, nice big pile. Um, but anyway, so we're gonna run the grinder out there this afternoon. And then uh, the excavator, we're actually going to move to a new project uh, back in Spartanburg. And uh, we're going to get started on that one. That'll be a quick project. It's only, it's seven acres of clearing on a 12 acre site. Uh, every once in a while we get jobs like that where, like for example, that big one we did in Woodruff was like 105, well, it's not 105 acres. I think it's actually like 115 acres. But anyway, so that job was like, the front chunk was like 50 acres, but there was about five acres of field out there. So I don't get paid to clear fields, but they still expect me to root rake them. So it's kind of funny how that works. But anyway, that's another conversation. So, uh, but sometimes you get jobs that are not fully wooded. So they, they go a little quicker or whatever. But uh, so anyway, just moving some machines today, uh, working on a game plan for like the next projects, moving equipment around and that's a day in the life you know flying airplanes picking up checks and moving machines around and then all the ugly crap you guys don't see behind the scenes i wonder if i should make a video about that sometimes what's the bad stuff uh chasing the checks down sometimes that's why i had to fly an airplane i had to go fly to get it no i'm just kidding that's a joke uh sometimes you gotta chase your checks down that you got machines that break and they cause delays on the job you got you know you might have transportation issues like at first when i started this business i would let that stuff work me up so bad it would almost like ruin my whole day and i don't want to say i'm numb to it now but i guess i'm just more uh adjusted to it so i don't let it get me worked up so bad uh in this business you got to have really thick skin because you have 
it, it's, it throws you curveballs every day. Maybe I'll stand like this so you guys can see the machine while I'm talking or something. But anyway, like, it's just, it's a crazy business to be in. Like, it is not easy work. And, uh, oh, that's a good little picture there. Click. Um, sometimes when I'm making my videos, I'll be like, oh, that's a good thumbnail. And then I'll snap it while I'm in the middle of the video. So, get out of the sun here. Um, but anyway, uh, it's, it's a tough business to be in, you know. There's, there's plenty of work out there, um, but the equipment is really expensive and the breakdowns are very expensive. This is a very capital intense business. Um, you know, you definitely can't just make the checks and go spend them. You gotta hold on to them because you don't know what's gonna happen next week. So uh, you could be on a big job and have a lot of money going and rolling and uh, burning fuel every day. And then you could have like rain for a whole week and then it doesn't dry up for another week after that. And then you got to figure out how to keep your guys busy uh, because if they don't get to work for one day, they'll get tired and want to go quit and go work for another company that it's also rained in their place and they're not working either. And then they don't understand that. So I'm rambling now and I do that a lot, but that is the truth of it. So, but anyway, I'm actually a really good boss. I actually, I take very good care of my people and I'm not saying that about myself. That's what they tell me from their experience from other jobs and stuff. So this is actually a very good company to work for. And uh, we've got a very bright future. Um, God has blessed us tremendously and you can't destroy what God blesses, period, period. I had somebody tell me the other day, hockey saying, well, we'll see how long you're in business. And I'm like, well, I guess you sit there and watch then. So that's not me being cocky and bragging. That's just me saying like, God's going to take care of me no matter what. So I know that is not a popular thing to talk about, but that's just the truth of it. So if you don't like it, take it up with God. Don't take it up with me. So I'm just going to do what he wants me to do every day. And look what I'm doing. I'm doing what he wants me to do right now. See, and I'm having fun. So that's the best part about it. So anyway, um, what is next on the agenda? Probably gonna go get lunch in a little bit and uh, might go fly a helicopter. I don't know. That might fit in the schedule today. Uh, that's what I wanna do. I don't know if it's gonna happen today because of timing, but um, gonna be moving the grinder to Newberry and finish grinding that job and starting some new projects. So now I'm gonna get up close and personal with grinder because I know you guys like watching that thing and I do too. And every video you see of these grinders on YouTube they're like really far and it's a dusty background and it's not clear, it's not high resolution and it kind of sucks. So I'm gonna get up close to the grinder and let's just see what it does.
basically just dirt that's sifted out of the bottom of the grinder right there where the feed chains are. When it's feeding through, it'll drop dirt out underneath there and it piles it up. So what you do is you just turn the grinder and you flatten that pile back out and that way you can move the grinder back. everybody it is October 1st Friday and this video has been a sequence of the whole week um, it's been a little bit of a crazy week and uh, I haven't had time to just like clump together a bunch of video scenes and make it like a one-day thing and honestly I just didn't have time to like upload a video this week so I've been like making clips making clips throughout the week and I was like you know what it's Friday morning I'm gonna finish it up today so this is what you get um, I'm gonna recap the week kind of I guess tell you where I'm coming from and I gotta see here remember what I did this week um, so like we've had our skid steer forestry mulcher it's been wide open on uh, several several acres um, a property over in Greer that basically like the whole thing got logged and I think you guys have seen us do jobs like that before where we go in with a, a forestry mulcher and we'll grind over the whole thing that's been logged like the brush the stumps you know the rocks that are out there blah 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 um broke a lot of teeth on that job and uh I don't even know how many teeth we got left I think I ordered better turn this song down that I don't have copyrights to so I don't get like some red flag on my video that they say they're going to take it down or something because I don't have that song or something but anyway what uh what was I saying so I bought like I think I had two sets of teeth for the forestry mulcher um and then I bought four more before I started this project the first part of that job was 10 acres the neighbor was like three and a half the other neighbor is like uh, like an acre or something like that. So he's been out there pretty much all week on that, um, and and part of last week too, actually. Uh, and I think he's down to like one or two sets of teeth left. That's how many rocks have been out there. We've busted through and broken teeth. Um, the first two sets of teeth that I mentioned. Uh, and this isn't me talking good or bad about nobody's product or nothing. I'm just telling you what I bought and what happened. Uh, I've been buying teeth from Romac in Texas uh, for the Dennis Seamoth mulcher for the past like three and a half years I've been in business or something. Uh, at first, I used to use the Dennis Seamoth teeth. Um, they're really expensive. I got turned on to the other ones and just stayed with them ever since. Um, I think they have a more aggressive angle when you're uh, when you buy them out of the box, and they chip harder, faster if you keep that angle. Uh, they're not as strong as a Dennis Seamoth uh, tooth, so you got to be careful there. Uh, but they're a lot cheaper, and I get a pretty good discount because of the bulk that I buy, which I think they would offer to anybody else. I am nobody special. Um, anyway, back to the other part of the story. So the first two sets of teeth that we went through. 
Uh, they were from uh, Morin Diesel, and uh, I heard a lot of good things about them, and they were cheaper, and blah, 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 and I think they're the same price that I paid, I don't really remember, I think they're the same price I paid that I get with the Romec teeth. Uh, they looked more like an original Dennis Seamoff tooth, which is like, got like a two-step, like, angle to it, uh, like it goes up and up like this, so that's what a Dennis Seamoff tooth kind of looks like, so the, the very top cutting edge of that tooth is a lot shorter. The top cutting edge on a Romec tooth is just one big flat surface, so it's like a lot wider of a surface. Um, I don't know if I'll buy them again because those things were breaking. They The teeth were just chipping. Like, I had the whole half the tooth break off, like literally the entire edge. The only part that was left was the flat part that would bolt up to the rotor on the mulcher head. That's really bad because, one, I don't know where that piece went flying at 2,500 RPMs. That That's really dangerous. That, that can kill, like, you know say there was like cattle in a fence somewhere or something you know or or a person or a, a customer's car or you know when, when you got shrapnel that big like say say it's two pound tooth half of it went missing that's a one pound bullet flying like that that's not cool so that kind of bothered me a little bit i don't know if i'll go back with that style tooth again like i said i'm not talking trash about it they look good coming out of the box and you know they had a decent sharp edge on them etc but uh, they just weren't dependable for me. They didn't hold up. Um, and no, I wasn't like grinding and crushing rock with them. We were doing a forestry mulching job. And, you know, my guy said he was grinding a stump, a pot, just a pine stump, which is, if you're in this business, you know, that's a pretty soft, you know, material to grind up with, with the knives. Um, he was grinding a pine stump. He heard a loud bang and then it started vibrating really bad. He backed off, shut it off. And of course, sitting right there, in the middle of the drum was a half of a tooth, like just broken half. So that's the forestry mulcher. That's what's been going on there. The stain on my shirt here is driving me nuts. Um, and uh, I keep looking at it, but I'm working today, so it's okay. Um, so that's what's going on there. And then outside of that is the all the bigger stuff. So like the commercial clearing drumming that we do. Um, I almost can't tell you what project I'm on, not because it's a secret, but because I don't know where I'm at. So we're all over the place. We have, we got a project going in Newberry. Uh, I've showed you guys video footage of that and we're, we're kind of getting down to the, you know, the last bit of it now where, uh, we're not really clearing anymore. Finally, we're, um, just trying to finish up grinding it, which we brought the grinder back to, yesterday uh at one point this week we had to actually take the grinder and go do a small job um we did like a little i say one day i think we're out there for two days or something but uh we did a little grinding job for a grader that we do work for that he picked up this job that was like it was a project that was started and they stopped it or something then he picked it up there's a huge pile of debris uh, that needed to be ground up, and we got to leave the mulch on site. Uh, I think they got a place to waste it or something. And uh, now I got a phone call coming in. One second. All right, so I'm back. Got that phone call over with, and I really don't even remember what I was talking about now. Um, but basically, got all the. Uh, Pretty much got all the equipment on Newberry right now. Um, we got a semi truck that is almost empty on fuel. So our fuel gauge doesn't work on the semi truck. It kind of bounces back and forth, and sometimes I get in it and it's like a surprise. So um, anyway, hopefully it'll make it to the to the truck stop or whatever. But. Um, so yeah, we're on the job in Newberry, got all the big machines there. I'm actually going to pick up the uh, excavator, the 326, and bring it to that job because we just did a little grinding job um, for the grader that I was talking about a second ago. Uh, we just had a short deadline on. We just had to go in there and just knock it out, get it ground up. It was a big pile of clearing debris that's been, I've actually seen that stuff sitting there for like 
months and months and months and months and i was wondering like you know man i wonder if i should call those people and give them a price to grind it and i never could figure out who was doing the project because it was like getting kind of shut down or something and then go figure i ended up grinding it so um but anyway got that done and we uh you know started moving the grinder back to newberry uh that's where i'm headed to now i'm going to take that 326 to there and then next week we got to start another job and then we got to start another job and start another job and then it just keeps going and going and going so i think that sums it up for the week um what else am i waiting on here um so i said i had a surprise that i was going to be getting and putting in my garage and it's not gym equipment and still working on that um when you're when you're buying equipment and stuff it just doesn't happen overnight it takes you think it's going to take a week sometimes it takes two or three weeks so uh kind of waiting on that still we have bought two more machines um and you guys haven't really well you've probably seen them but you just probably don't know it yet but um waiting on those two machines to come by uh come through also but um so anyway got a lot going on and I gotta hop in this uh, semi truck and I gotta get to work. And it now has a CB radio in it. So, don't know how to use it. My friend put it in there, said we need one in there. And I'm like, well, cool. It, it looks cool, but I probably won't use it because I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to that stuff. So, uh, I'm just trying to get where I'm going. So, but anyway, um, this is a Friday video. And maybe I'll end it with like, you know, because it's like eight o'clock in the morning or something. I'll probably end it with like uh, some machine action or something and me not talking as much so you guys can get a little bit of that and then we'll start somewhere next week. How's that sound? So appreciate you guys for watching and all the support on the channel and uh, thank you for following me and all this chaos and craziness that I do every day and I just hope and pray that it just keeps going up and up and up. So anyway, hope you guys have a good weekend.